There's a moment, several minutes into the video game Firewatch, where many players will have already made a judgement about its protagonist, Henry. In a super emotive text-based opening that introduces us to him and his wife Julia, we learn how they meet and about their lives together through to their 40s. Until suddenly, and heartbreakingly, it's revealed that Julia has early onset dementia at the age of 41. Weeks and months go by, and after Henry starts neglecting and distancing himself more and more from his new role as a caregiver, Julia's family appear at the house and take her away. And he lets it happen. He flees their marriage and becomes a fire lookout in Shoshone National Forest, Wyoming. It's a strange, unconventional and brave thing for Campo Santo, the game's creators, to have done. From the outset, give their players such a polarising impression of their main character. One that has the potential for people to not want to trust or even like the person they're controlling. I've been unfortunate to see firsthand what an illness like dementia can do to someone. And there's nothing that can prepare you for how it eats away at the person you knew, piece by piece. And so often to cope with the situation, many people begin the grieving process before their loved one is gone. With all that said, if something similar ever happened to me and my wife, I'd like to say I'd be there for her no matter what. But there's still that glimmer of the unknown. It's easy to say it now without being in that situation. At its heart, Henry's story is about the concept of failure and the consequences of running away from our problems. But more than that, it's about self-discovery, the sacrifices we make for ourselves and others, and being forced to admit our mistakes and learn from them. It's a human story that explores extremely real themes and emotions, something that gaming has been tackling well and improving on a lot recently. As Firewatch is told from Henry's perspective, it's clear Campo Santo's intention is for you to become invested in his character and his plight, which I dutifully did, regardless of my feelings towards him after the game's opening moments. You could even say I began to like him. I loved the dialogue and rapport with his boss Delilah, I cared about the mystery of the missing campers, the conspiracy at the centre of it all, and I became distracted enough from why we were here in the first place. Like, can we just take a moment to look at this scenery? I could stand here all day. Then I started to realise something, as the story began to crescendo towards its climax. I had felt these emotions before. I began to sympathise with Henry about a few things. But how could I? He was a monster. He left his wife behind. Then it clicked. I had felt these feelings of being a failure before. I had felt like running away from my problems. I had shunned responsibility to try and achieve a quick fix. I had done all of those things, so wait, am I a monster too? Over the last couple of years, my mental health has been kicking my ass a bit. Having received care from crisis teams at hospital for over 16 months, I got discharged last year and was unfortunate to be left on a waiting list for the next stage of my recovery for a long period after that. The good news is that I'm finally on the right path now that should see me address a lot of the issues my illnesses have given me for over half my life. As part of the therapy, courses and support that are now my lifeline, I've started to come to terms with how a lot of my belief systems and thought processes are intrinsically linked to the idea of failure, like how I believe I'm not good enough, that I always fail at basic tasks and that I'm a failure in everything else. It's gotten so bad that my day-to-day -day life suffers for it and has done for far too many years, which is both really sad to admit and pretty heartbreaking for my loved ones to see. With the help of a psychologist, however, I'm starting to understand how strange the concept of failure is, starting to challenge its meaning and why it features so heavily in my life. So no, I'm not a monster, I don't think, and I don't think Henry is either. He could be seen as a coward, yes, 
perhaps even unable to cope, but I don't think that makes him a bad person. As Firewatch's story ties up, it leaves us pretty much back where we started. None of the distractions of being a fire lookout had changed the fact that Henry still had some issues to confront. Even a several month long mystery about missing people turns out to be something relatively ordinary, if not massively tragic. So as Delilah leaves to deal with her own problems, the game leaves you to deal with yours. Maybe Henry needed a job in this remote forest to find it himself to do what's right? Maybe? But maybe not. Whether you're supposed to like Henry is pretty irrelevant in the end as well, because more than that, he's the person in all of us who has made a mistake and failed at something, run away from a problem or felt they were unable to cope. Because however hard it may be to admit, people do make mistakes. It's what you do as a result of making that mistake that makes or breaks you and calls you the failure you think you are. At the very end, it's sort of left up to you whether you think Henry went back to Julia or not. And you're left having come full circle, having spent time as him, but ultimately with your own judgement of him and his life from this point on. Which I think is lovely and poetic in a way. Games like Firewatch are so important to me because they don't shy away from portraying the emotions that we as humans experience in our daily lives. I may not be able to put into words sometimes how I struggle with the emotions I have and the mistakes I've made, but knowing that I share common ground with others about the relationships and experiences we have and the choices we make every day means a lot to me. Because all humans have flaws, and despite it all, most of us are just trying to do our best, and sometimes these mistakes end up being vital for our development. That's both okay and not okay. <laughs> And ironically, that's okay too. I've made many mistakes in my life. Some have hurt others, some have hurt myself, sometimes both. I've learned the hard way sometimes, but I like to think the mistakes I've made have helped make me a better person for the future. And for Henry, I like to think that he went back to Julia. Most importantly though, after everything we've been through, I think we'll both be okay. And we'll make peace with our choices. The next time you make a mistake, I hope you're able to make peace with it too.